So I'm here in Worcester at Mazak. I'm with Mark Hall. We're going to be looking at one of the latest uh, innovations that's actually built here in the UK. Mark, the CV500, we've previewed it uh, on our channel before. We're here at the Emo Encore event. Um, where does this machine fit amongst all of your other five axes? Well, this machine has a very interesting position because it's designed very well. It offers a uh, high-end performance, but it's really at an affordable price. So I believe this machine will attract a, a lot of new users, perhaps customers who were looking to make their first steps into five axes, perhaps customers who are looking to reduce the number of operations on a vertical machining center and combine it to one operation on a five axis machine. Right, now there are a few things we're gonna to touch on now. If you move this way with me, Mark, I want to uh, explore because this is a great visual that we've got here uh, for the camera. This is inside the machine. Now important to add as well that this is the, the door here and we're obviously standing in front of this. So the Y axis is moving uh, in this direction as you'll see. What's the advantage to that, Mark, over the Y-axis being on the RAM? Well, there's several advantages. One of them is it's a bridge-type construction. The bridge-type construction leads to high rigidity, and from that high rigidity, we gain high accuracy. But using the bridge, we can then move the table on the Y-axis underneath the bridge. So this effectively reduces the necessary floor space and makes it a very compact machine. But also, it reduces the number of axes stacked up on one platform. Well, this is what I was going to ask you next. If I move this way, then it's very easy for the camera to, to look at this. We can see the bridge moving here in the x-axis and obviously the y that we stated. But tell me about the axes stacking and how this compares then and why it's different. Well, that's a very good point. So, for example, on the bridge itself, we have the x-axis and the z-axis. So this reduces the number of um, uh, castings in between those units to make the machine more rigid. But also as well, we employ a, a constant overhead hang z-axis. This means that as the z-axis lowers, we keep the bearing point from the spindle nose to, to the guide point the same. So we don't lose any rigidity. So again, high performance in all situations. Uh, tell me about then the options that come with the machine. And, and is this an area that you've been able to uh, bring in the economies of scale so it does sort of uh, venture into that affordable entry level area? What comes with it? Well, this machine comes with a very, very competitive package. It starts off with a 12,000 RPM spindle that offers 119 newton meters torque and 18.5 kilowatts of power. So you're able to machine anything from steels to some exotic materials right through to aluminiums. But when you're talking about things like aluminium, we then have an, uh, a higher speed spindle with 18,000 RPM. As standard, we have a 30-tool magazine, but that can optionally go out to a 48-tool magazine and then we have a variety of different coolant options depending on what the customer wants to machine with the, with the package. Okay, now if we move back again a, a, a bit this way, if you, if you come to your original position, Mark, um, it is evident here that we, it, it is a small footprint and that's for some of the reasons you mentioned about the Y-axis. Um, that's important in today's market. Um, where, it, where is that market for you? Who's the, uh, who's the potential purchaser for this type of machine? Well, we think this has a number of areas. I mean, we certainly think that um, customers perhaps uh, looking to buy their first machine with Mazak will be very attracted by the price, but also for those customers that require a, a machine with a stable cutting performance, also a very reliable machine, and a machine backed up by good application support and service will be very attracted to this machine. Now, you've certainly been doing this a long time, uh, and hence uh, having your own control here. Now, the smooth control, when it comes to five-axis machining, we're looking at things to get the best surface finishes, uh, accuracies on parts, you need uh, fast processing speeds, good look ahead. Are, are you the best at this as well? The control is, is, is class leading. It's five axis performance is really phenomenal. Um, we've done a number of series of tests on this and some of the results have been quite staggering where we've been able to reduce cycle time. And the reason for that, is one is the processing speed, but one is the advanced software that we use on the five axis. What we did was we, we set our stall out to be you know, really high end in terms of five axis performance on, on this SmoothX. And there are a number of features on there that are really important. And perhaps some people will look and say, well, when you're operating with five axis, you're just taking a program from a CAD CAM. What difference really can the CNC make? Well, the CNC can make a huge amount of difference with handling the data and the quality of the surface finish that you obtain from the machine. Okay, I mean, I, I, I know that the interface and the actual U operator friendliness of the control is very important as well and your customers do go on about how easy it is to use that's a good factor isn't it yes it's really important um, since the advent of the smooth control we've had 
an, an incredible amount of feedback from our customers, really pleased with the touchscreen functionality. And what they say is the control is, is you know, re, really intuitive. That actually, by using the touchscreen, as you start to operate, you start to learn quite quickly the different operations. And, you know, we've had some really, really excellent feedback. Good stuff. Wow. Uh, get yourself here to uh, Worcester at Mazak to come and see this new CV5. 500. I think this is going to take the UK market and beyond by storm. Uh, entry level, very affordable, but very highly specified five axis, full five axis simultaneous machine, I should say, here from Mazak. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.